Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you. And in this tutorial, Bitwig Studio 2 drum machine course, we're gonna take a look at the basic layout of the drum machine. In the previous tutorial, we talked about how to access it and get it loaded and get, get it ready for action. But let's take a look at it because at first glance, it can be a little intimidating, you know, if you aren't used to using it and you might think it's just too much and a little overwhelming. So let's kind of break it down and show you how simple it really can be and really is. So um, first of all, all of these little squares are individual cells or individual holding places for different samples and sounds that we want to bring in, whether they're percussion or some other uh, sample. Um, this little square on the left allows us to scroll up and down by octaves and access different notes. These are notes that will be triggered uh, by our MIDI from our um, keyboard. And each sound will correspond to that individual note. So this is a way to access up and down. I think there's 127 of these guys altogether. If I'm not mistaken, I could be a little bit off. Don't uh, quote me on that. So on the right here, it's got the title bar. And if we right click this or control click in a Mac, you can have this uh, access to this menu here, which will allow you different features to work with it and that we'll explore a little bit later. So we also have something new to Bitwig Studio 2 is when you actually click the title bar of a device, you have this, which is essentially a, just this, pretty much the same menu, maybe condensed a little bit and place where you can quickly access uh, saving and stuff like that. So just be aware of that guy. Um, here we have our modulators panel. And here we have our different macros that can be assigned and worked with. Over here we have our volume meter. We can solo or mute. We can add our F F effects right here. And we have our output adjustment right there. So always um, want to keep your eye on the volume meter as you're working with different things because you want to make sure that you're not redlining in specific areas as your sounds are created because you can be combining so many different sounds uh, within this powerful little instrument that it'd be easy to kind of redline. So we'll probably be taking a look at you know, being aware of that as we move forward as well. So that's the basic layout of the drum machine and the overall structure of it. Uh, nothing to be too intimidated by. So let's go ahead and take a look at loading sounds in the next tutorial.